Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I Happy Monday everyone! I hope you are doing really well. I'm coming to you from chilly Florida. Believe it or not, it's been cold. It's been in the 40s and the 50s and I've been loving every minute of it. Love being able to wear sweaters and coats and just sitting by an outdoor fire and drinking hot cocoa, all of the cozy things. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to get out and enjoy the weather too much because all weekend we packed, we sold things, and we moved a lot of stuff. So it was pretty successful because we sold all of our outdoor furniture, we sold a lot of the indoor furniture, we donated many items. And so as you can see, we have emptied everything out. Like all of our furniture is gone furniture gone um, these awesome chairs we're drying them out and we are gonna store them and keep them because we love them um, and I'm going to sell this umbrella along with some pillows and then we're gonna take that heater with us and get rid of these bins but basically we're almost completely bare out here so it's going to be bittersweet, of course, to leave this view and all of this, but it's going to be exciting for new adventures and yeah, trying to stay positive for the new house, the new adventures. It is nice to purge. It is nice to start fresh, to donate items, to sell and make money. And so we, we had a pretty successful we had a pretty successful weekend. Dakota and Lucky have kind of been freaking out as they see our house get emptier and emptier. They've just been like crying a lot and trying to run out the front door when we're moving stuff. And they've been very curious, right? Have you been curious? So they are going to be very surprised when we move in with three other dogs. Today I'm going to talk about some wish list items that my husband and I have for this new house. We agree on most of the things that are going into the house, but we each have kind of a wish list of things that we would love to have in this new house. My number one request was a fireplace. And I know it sounds crazy because it is Florida, but not only am I always freezing, literally no matter what time of year it is, but I just love the ambiance of a fireplace. So we have gas in the house, so we're gonna do a gas fireplace in the family room, and we are hoping to do a electric fireplace in the master bedroom. That would be my number one wish. And my husband's number one wish, if you know him, you know, was a Lego display to have his office on the first floor and to really be able to display his Lego collection with like LED lights and all this stuff. So if you know my husband, you know he is a huge Lego guy. He works so hard all week long and then he comes home at night or on the weekends and he builds Legos. And I'm not talking about little Legos, I'm talking about ginormous Legos which I will show you right here. Um, from roller coasters and Star Wars things and cars and I mean it's it's quite impressive sometimes I'm like really uh, do we have any room for this probably not but we are finding room <laughs> I mean I have silly hobbies as well so I'm just embracing his wonderful hobby it keeps him busy he loves it keeps his engineering mind going and I guess it's fun. So basically he did display his Lego collection in his office in this house, but he wants to take it to the next level in the new house. And he decided that they would not move well, his 
his roller coaster would get damaged or his big Star Wars thingamajiggy would get damaged. So he took every Lego apart, put them back in the boxes, and he's going to put them back together when we move in, which I'm kind of like, you're going to have time to do that? Okay. So that was his number one wish. Um, and then our second for both of us was a walk-in butler's pantry. We just love the idea of having our kitchen counters free of anything, just very clean and simple. That means taking all of the small appliances like a coffee maker, a toaster, my mixer, and keeping them in the pantry. So we'll have a whole counter space and electrical outlets so that we can have a little coffee bar and we can have room for a toaster and that kind of thing and then they're not displayed on the kitchen counters. Of course, in this pantry we'll also have food and we'll have plenty of storage area and then we'll have a place for the dogs. So that's where the dogs can eat and get water and everything like that. So that was something we were really looking forward to and then I saw on TikTok, yes, I do go on TikTok every now and then and you can get some great home decor ideas and home building ideas, but I saw the cool idea of doing a hidden walk-in pantry. So it's like, it looks like it's a cabinet and you're just like, oh, what's in this cabinet? And then bam, you open it up and ah, it's this huge butler's pantry. So of course my husband thought that would be awesome as well. We were so excited. We were like, yes, let's do it. And then he realized, oh wait, how will the dogs get in the pantry when we're not home to get their water? And I was like, you would think of these sweet little angel dogs. So we're still gonna do it. Not that it's much of a big hidden secret because you guys know now. Um, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have another door. So if you come in through the pantry, there'll be a door like, um, like a barn door just to go in from that side, but then in the kitchen, it'll be like a hidden door. So I don't know. We just thought it would be such a fun thing and we're very, we're both very excited about it. So. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can also follow me on Instagram at everything Erin Elliott and I hope you have a great week. I'll see you next Monday.